Good morning. Good morning, Mickey. Gorgeous. Oh, go on. <laughs> the loving little woman who's celebrating her first wedding anniversary. Well, when people think of me celebrating it with you like this. You'll be thrown right out of any polite society for breaking its most cherished tradition. I can just hear them saying, you know, on her first anniversary, she was with her husband, of all people. Oh. Think you could struggle through another year with that same husband? Lots more, darling. You've given me a pretty swell year, Madge. You gave me one of the best years of my life. You're the one that made it best. Oh, sweet. I broke a cherished old tradition myself. I didn't forget your anniversary present. <gasps> Daughter, you didn't. Like it, sweet? No. Nope. <laughs> it's a dreadful old thing. I can hardly wait to try it on. Darling, it's marvelous. Not bad. Really like it, sweet? I love it, darling. And I love you more. More and more all the time. Show me how much. All right, I will. I'll show you right now. What's that? Oh, you'll see. Hey, maybe I'll be able to appear in public with you in your fur coat after all. Do you really like it? What do you think? We make a very nice looking couple, don't we? A very nice looking couple. In spite of the pajama legs. Darling, you hurry and get dressed now and I'll start breakfast. You know, Madge, it's pretty nice. What? You know all this. Married life can really be sort of marvelous. Our neighbors don't seem to agree with us. And they certainly never agree with each other. Come out of there. Now listen, little Snoopy Wookie. I don't want to engage in any brawls. What did you say? Brawls. Tom Fraser, come out and take it like a man. All right, little snooky wookie. Now that you've ordered that fur coat, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for it. But that, that $2,500 is liable to drive me right into the bankruptcy court. Well, if you don't pay for it, they'll drive you right into the morgue. $2,500 is just the initial cost. You've got to add to that the price of my breakfast every morning at Child's. What's the matter with the breakfast I get you? Well, in the 19 years I've been married to you, I've never had a chance to find out whether you could cook or not. You've always started a quarrel before I got started eating. Look, this is what some husband's going to do to you. Husband slays piano tuner found in wife's flat. Well, what's that got to do with me? I don't go around tuning ladies' pianos. No. I suppose I'll never be lucky enough to have you killed. You may have to do it yourself and use the insurance money to pay for that coat. Oh, that reminds me. I was reading over your policy the other day, and you're permitted to commit suicide any time after the first year. Somebody should have shot me the day I married you. You wouldn't have felt it. You were too drunk. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to pieces. Here, take these to the jewelers. They have to be restrung. Say, so what am I around here, an errand boy? Yes, you aren't good for anything else around here anymore. See if you can come home sober for a change. Snooky Wookie. What? Would you divorce me for $50 a week alimony? I will for $150. Oh, make it $75. You're pretty low, but you're not in the bargain basement. Well, I gotta live, too. Why? Remember, honey, I'm getting a big dinner ready for our anniversary. Don't be late. Not a chance, honey. I'm late 